In today's video, I will guide you on how to install Android 12 OS on your low-end PC along with Windows, meaning we won't be removing Windows today, but using both operating systems at the same time. Now, there are some requirements for installing this. First and foremost, you need a USB drive of at least 4 GB of space. Additionally, your PC should have 2 GB of RAM, a dual-core CPU, and if you're into playing high-end games, a graphics card might be necessary. The last requirement is that you watch the video until the end because the installation process is a bit complicated. Because today, we won't be using Rufus software. Instead, we'll use another software. Let's get started with the video. Let's roll. Before moving towards the installation process, let me share my PC specs with you so that all your doubts are cleared. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 G's processor. If we talk about the graphics card, my PC currently has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which is not very capable. Now, let's proceed towards the installation process. The link to download these two files will be available in the comment box. You can download them from there. Make sure to download this exact version because using a different or outdated version might lead to errors. Now, let's start the installation. First, go to my computer and here select a partition and name it as the Android OS, ensuring there is no important data on that partition. After selecting the partition, plug in your USB drive. In the next step, you need to install the Power ISO software. The installation process of this software is quite simple. Follow the steps I'm doing, and you'll be good to go. After installing Power ISO, right-click on its icon and select Run as Administrator. Once Power So is open, click on the Tools option at the top, and then choose the Create Bootable USB Drive option. Next, select the Android OS ISO file and start the process. This may take 5 to 10 minutes. 2,000 years later. After the process is complete, restart your PC and press the boot key multiple times. The boot key may vary depending on your PC's brand. In my case, the boot key is 12, but for different laptop brands, it might be different. In the next step, select the USB storage device, and your USB will boot. After USB booting, you'll see these options. If you want to test Android OS first, select the first option. If you want to install it directly, like me, choose the last option. This is a crucial step. You must not mistakenly select the Windows partition here. You need to install it on the partition where you named it Android OS. After selecting the partition, press Enter. Here, choose Do Not Reformats and press Enter. Then choose yes and press enter again. 2,000 years later. In the next step, you need to type the amount of storage, keeping in mind that the more storage you allocate, the longer it will take to install. So Android 12 is now installed and you need to select run Bliss OS. As you can see, the Bliss OS logo has appeared. When you start Bliss OS for the first time, it will take 5 to 10 minutes to load. After launching, set up the Android OS just like a regular phone. As you can see, Android OS has been installed and is running smoothly, and you need to allow all the permissions it requests initially. In terms of personal opinion, I wasn't particularly impressed with this OS. It lacks support for many games, and the sensitivity was also too high, making it challenging to play shooting games effectively. Therefore, I prefer Remix OS over Prime in this OS. 
because Remix OS not only supports a wide range of games, but can also be installed without the need for a USB drive. So if you want to watch a tutorial video on Remix OS, click on the video appearing on the screen, and I'll see you there.